If you're thinking about moving to Lake Conroe or even just coming out here to explore, there's really a lot that you need to know. See, Lake Conroe is massive and it's got a lot of fun things to do. In fact, we call it Houston's Playground for a reason. It is hands down the most recreationally friendly lake here in the Houston area. But if you didn't grow up here like I did, there are a lot of things you're probably gonna have questions about. And so what I wanted to do is take you on a boat tour with me, my videographer Keith today, and we're just gonna show you around the lake just like we would if a friend came into town. We're gonna show you all the hot spots to eat and drink, what areas of the lake to stay away from because of stumps. We're gonna show you the different neighborhoods as we're driving around the lake, show you how the lake's laid out, and really talk to you about your different housing options if you're actually looking to move here, whether you want that mega mansion right there on the water or just a weekend getaway condo. And we're also gonna show you a couple secret spots, some of my favorite spots that growing up as a local, you're gonna want to know about. So the first place you're gonna start when you come out to the lake, especially if you're a visitor, is gonna be right here at Water Point Marina. Water Point Marina is probably gonna be the most robust set of bars, restaurants, office space, and everything in between right here on Lake Conroe. It's definitely gonna be the hub. And so it's located right along Highway 105, which is the main road connecting Conroe to Montgomery. And I would say the majority of the liveliness around Lake Conroe is actually gonna be nestled on the south side of the lake, which is this Highway 105. And so up here, when you come up to Water Point, this is really where everyone comes, no matter where they live on the lake, to come up to the restaurants or come out for the fireworks shows on the holidays. And so you're gonna have Fajita Jack's, which is a, a great Mexican place, come out on the patio. You've got Monty's Lighthouse. You've got a new bar that just opened up called Bar Lago. You're gonna have crust pizza. And then if you're looking for sushi, then you're gonna get Akashi over here as well, which is a great restaurant. You also have docks here and piers so you can store your boats. And you're gonna find marinas as we, as we go on this tour today all throughout the lake. But Water Point, once again, is probably gonna be the most dense pocket of shopping and bars and restaurants. And it's gonna be located right here on the south side of the lake next to a couple of the major neighborhoods that we're gonna show you. So on today's tour, we're gonna to start here on the south side of the lake and we're just gonna kind of hug the shoreline and kind of go clockwise around the south side of the lake. Now, the way that the lake is laid out when you're looking at a map is it actually looks like a hand. You've got a bunch of fingers going up and it runs south to north. So the, the dam's gonna be on the south side of the lake. As we hug that left shoreline, the whole south side of the lake is really the developed side of the lake. Almost all of it's completely developed. And so a couple key points you wanna know right out of the gate, if you are coming here to visit or to buy, is chances are you're gonna buy something on the south side of the lake. And the reason is because the whole north side of the lake, north of that 1097 bridge, is actually gonna be up in the National Forest. And so there's a handful of opportunities to own on the water up on the north side of the lake but you really wanna stay away from that if you're just out here for recreational boating. Now, if you're fishing or you really wanna be tucked away up in the woods, that's a different story. But for the most part, the whole south part of the lake is completely bulkheaded. And so it is gonna get a little bit more rough on those busy days if it's a windy day, or it was just 4th of July here. And when you have all these big boats out here, especially these big wake surf boats that fill their ballasts up with thousands of pounds of water to make these big waves, it's gonna get rough. In fact, it gets so rough that boats are literally sinking. It was 4th of July just last week and a boat sank. I got an article pulled up right here on ABC. There were 12 people, including four children, that were rescued after a boat party sinks. And the cause of the sinking is what's gonna actually surprise you. It says, what caused it is when the boats were leaving the fireworks show, another boat caused a wake that made their boat take on water. And so that whole south side of the lake being bulkheaded is gonna cause it to get really rough. And so on holidays like 4th of July or New Year's, uh, when everyone is out there, especially if the wind kicks up, it can get really, really crazy to the point where boats are literally sinking. And so that's something you need to know here on the south side of the lake. You don't wanna be out here in a small boat. And so you're gonna see a lot of big wakeboarding boats, pontoon boats and fishing boats for the most part. As you go up on the north side of the lake, you gotta be careful and we'll get into that as we're kind of up on that side here in a little bit showing you that secret spot. But uh, there are stumps in Lake Conroe. They're not gonna be for the most part located so much on the south side of the lake. So if you're cruising around the lake on the south side, you're gonna see everybody out here tubing, having a good time, water skiing, wakeboarding. But as soon as you go north of that 1097 bridge, you're really gonna wanna know where you're going and there's a couple of ways to do that. Option one is go with a local. Option two is get some kind of Navionics or maps for your boat. So I won't go too into the weeds in this video, but I do wanna give you a quick overview that that whole south side of the lake, that's really where most people are gonna be spending their time boating and having their fun. So before we head out and leave this cove at Water Point, 
Marina is located in. I do want to point out two other restaurants. Right behind me, you've got Conroe Lake House, which is actually a newer restaurant, and they've done really well for themselves. They've got their own boat slips and marina here. They've got a playground for the kids. So this is probably going to be your most kid-friendly restaurant on the lake. And all these restaurants weren't here when I was growing up, so it's really nice now that they finally have the restaurants to support the amount of people that are actually out here on the lake. But you've got a nice sandy beach area to play as well, and so this is going to be a really cool spot. However, growing up here, the spot was right over here. It's this pink building. That's Papa's Ice House. They've got a pool out there. They've got sand volleyball courts. And uh, it isn't known for its amazing food, but it is known for being a really good place to have a really great time. So if you're out here looking to have a good time, that might just be kind of your late night spot. It's actually kind of like a biker bar as well. So you pull up there, you're going to see a bunch of motorcycles out there as well. Um, so that's kind of all that's right here in this cove. Now we can head out onto the open body part of the lake. So a quick stop I wanted to make is right here in April Sound. When you're looking at neighborhoods on the lake, there's really none that have quite as much going on as April Sound. It's located on the south side of the lake, right along 105. You've got open water. And what's really cool is you're gonna have a 27 hole golf course, a full country club with a bar and grill. And let me tell you, it's very active. People that live out here love it. They cruise in their golf carts. And what you're looking at right here is actually the driving range. And so if you're a member of the golf course, it is members only, you can come up here and actually hit balls out into the water, which I just think is really, really cool. And as far as housing options in April Sound, you're probably gonna have more options than most of the other neighborhoods. And there's a ton of neighborhoods on the lake. We can't cover all of them. The goal of this video is really to just give you a snapshot of what you can get for your money here on the lake. And so right behind me over this way, you actually had some condos. These are gonna be ranging anywhere from about, ah, you know, 350 up to $500,000, anywhere from about 1,200 square feet up to 2,000 square feet. In fact, my mother owns one just around the corner. And a lot of clients ask us whether or not you can Airbnb these investment properties on the lake. And the answer is it depends. Every neighborhood's different. Even so much so that there are sections in April Sound that you can Airbnb and there are sections that you can't. And so when it comes to that, you gotta look at each property on a case by case basis. But I definitely wanted to put this neighborhood on your radar. When I think of April Sound, I really just think of kind of that classic American dream neighborhood. This is where you wanna be on 4th of July with your kids in the golf cart parade up at the clubhouse, at the family pool. They've got a swim team. And so it really is a really cool, robust neighborhood located right here on the lake. And they don't just have condos, they've got multi-million dollar waterfront homes as well. So you've got all different types of housing options right here in April Sound. So before we get to Margaritaville, we're actually in Keith's neighborhood. This is Walden. His family has a lake house here. They like to spend the summers in Walden. And Walden is one of the largest neighborhoods on the lake. In fact, it's so big that it takes up an entire peninsula. And some of the things that I like about Walden is because it's so big, you're gonna have a bunch of different housing options. So you're gonna have a whole lot of condos in Walden. They're gonna have their own marina out on the point. And then they're gonna have this 18 hole golf course as well. And this golf course is really unique, really cool. It is a private course, but it's in great shape. And one of the things that I love about it is it actually has two holes that jut out into the lake. So there's, there's a peninsula, we call it the island green, but technically it's a peninsula. And then you can hit from the par five, get on the next tee box, hit the par three across the lake as well. So it's really cool. So if you like golf, this is gonna be another great golfing community. And then as far as housing options, yeah, you've got the condos starting around $150,000, $200,000 for really small condos, you know, close to the water. And then you're going to have multi-million dollar homes on the lake. And so you're going to see a wide variety of different price ranges. And a lot of people don't know this, but you could have a $2 million home on the actual water across the street from a four or $500,000 home. So you are going to see really big price differences between being close to the lake and being on the lake. Now we're at Margaritaville, which if you don't know what Margaritaville is, it is a resort right here on the lake. And it used to be Del Lago, but Jimmy Buffett came in and put it in as Margaritaville. And so you're going to have a hotel here. It's really a great place if you even live here locally for a staycation. They're actually even going to have bungalows along the water, which are kind of like cute pastel painted tiny homes. You've got a massive boat dock. So if you aren't staying here, you can come up dock just like we did here. And they're gonna have a restaurant. They've got the Land Shark Bar and Grill, which is a bar and a grill. They're gonna have live music. And then it's a really great place for the kids. They've got these sandy beaches. They've got a great place in the grass to hang out. And they're also gonna have the, it's five o'clock somewhere bar that's more for the adults right over here, but they're gonna have a water park. So we've got water slides behind us. 
a lazy river and you're gonna be able to have access to this. Even if you're not staying here, you can actually pay to use the water park. But this is probably one of the more family friendly places. So if you're coming to visit Lake Conroe and explore it, this is probably where I would recommend actually staying. I would just get a room here, turn your exploration trip of moving here into a vacation, bring the kids, and you're gonna end up having a really good time right here at Margaritaville. So this is Grand Harbor and Harborside. They're two neighborhoods and they're gonna both be the larger acreage lots on the lake. What you'll notice behind me, you'll see this pretty massive slope. These are canal lots on the lake. And so you've got open water lake lots on Lake Conroe. And then you're gonna have these canals as well. And as they've continued to develop the lake, in order to create more lakefront, what they'll do is developers will come in and buy the last remaining pieces of land and then they'll dig out canals to, so that they can sell more lakefront lots. So this neighborhood's actually been here for a long time. In fact, my aunt used to live right up here in one of these houses probably 15 years ago. This is a great neighborhood if you're wanting more space. Harborside and Grand Harbor are both gated, which is really nice as well. So they're really golf cart friendly communities. There's no golf course here, but if you're really wanting those lots with more yard, room for a pool, then this is gonna be a great neighborhood for that. You're gonna have direct access to the lake. And where we're located here, this whole finger of the lake is actually calmer than a lot of the others. And so it's where you'll find a lot of people coming to you know, take kids around in the tubes, where it's really just not quite as rough as other parts of the lake. But for those people looking for those larger lots, I definitely think Grand Harbor and Harborside are gonna be some of the neighborhoods you need to look into. So I wanted to bring you all the way up in this peninsula because there really aren't a lot of areas of the lake on the south side of 1097 that aren't developed yet, but there actually is one really promising community that's gonna take place here in the next couple of years, and it's right behind me. You can see what's bulkheaded here. I believe that this used to be just one big ranch, but recently this land's been acquired, and they're actually gonna have a luxury community right next to Bentwater, right off of 1097. And I believe they're planning on having homes all north of a million dollars. So I think you can expect to see homes anywhere from two to $5 million. So probably some of the bigger homes on the lake set to be scheduled in this luxury community. So if you are looking to build, if you want waterfront and you have that kind of budget, then go ahead and reach out to us because this is gonna be one of the last opportunities to get open water with homes of that caliber. So Bentwater is gonna be one of the most robust neighborhoods on the lake. We're right up here at their yacht club and they're gonna have a yacht club on the lake. It's got a marina. There's a wait list for these boat slips. They're in high demand uh, because there's not enough for every homeowner in the neighborhood. It's a really large neighborhood. And a couple other things that I really love about Bentwater are gonna be it's gated. So it's got a really good um, feel to it. It's secure. All the homes are you know, in the higher price point. You can get homes around $500,000, but a lot of these lakefront homes get all the way up to like $4 million. So some of the nicer homes and newer homes on the lake are going to be in Bentwater. Bentwater also has three different 18 hole golf courses. So that's gonna be more golf courses and more holes to be played than any of the other courses around here. So that's a really nice perk. It's a golf cart friendly neighborhood. And then up at their clubhouse, they are gonna have a bar and a grill. And then they're also gonna have a spa. They've got a gym and then they have a ton of tennis courts. So it really has pretty much every checkbox you can think of when you're looking for a neighborhood. Um, it does tend to attract um, some older clientele just because it's such a great place to retire, but it's not a retirement community. I think sometimes it gets a rap for that. It's a great community. You've got young families out here. It's big, it's got a little bit of everything, um, but it definitely is on my list if I retire of an area that I would want to be in. So anyways, this is Bentwater and it's located right on the west side of the lake on the 1097 bridge. And so this 1097 bridge over here is what bisects the lake. It, it separates the north side from the south side. And really what it does is it separates the developed side of the lake, which is this south side, from the north side. And the north side is, as I mentioned, really is the national forest. Um, there's not a lot to do up there other than hit stumps, but we are gonna take you to the party cove right now and show you exactly how to get there and where to hang out when you wanna have a good time. We've made it to Party Cove and it might not look like a party behind me right now. There's probably four or five boats out here, but on the weekends, this place is packed. You'll see 40, 50, maybe even 60 boats all tied up and everybody's out of their boats because it's three or four feet deep along the shoreline, drinking beer, playing music, playing games, having a good time. And this, this is probably the main area on the lake where people tie up. We're gonna go to the island and show you the island here in one second to kind of wrap up the lake tour. But I would say this is probably the more adults focused party area. And then the island is a little bit more kid friendly, but you can have a good time as well. So 
The other thing that's great about this party cove over here is because there's no bulkheading, it's really calm. You can see the water here is just absolutely glass. And so that's gonna make it a great part of the lake for wake surfing, wakeboarding, and especially for slalom skiing if you're into that. Now you do need to be safe up here. Just make sure you know where you're going. I'll just leave it at that. But once you cross that 1097 bridge and you're up north, there are stumps in this part of the lake. So you need to know where you're going. It's a pretty clear channel to get to Party Cove, but uh, I wouldn't take any detours. Um, but that's it, this is Party Cove. Come on a weekend and have a great time. So if you're looking for some grub, you're on the north side of the lake, you're not gonna wanna miss Guadalajara's. Guadalajara's is a locally owned restaurant located right here on 1097. So it's on the north side of the lake, not in the hustle and bustle, not with all of the other restaurants over on the south side of the lake. And you're gonna have a bar right when you get off the boat. We're over here pumping gas. You're gonna be able to grab a drink. And then if you head on upstairs, that's where Guadalajara's is. That's where you're gonna be able to get some awesome food. It's a Friday night. You can't see because they have the window shades down, but it's actually packed here. The parking lot's full. They've got live music. It might even be an actual band. Yeah, I think it's live music. And uh, it's just a party. It's a good time, a great place to come and enjoy. So once again, if you're on the north side of the lake and you need some food, you're probably gonna wanna come to Guadalajara's. There's no better way to wrap up a tour than at the island. This is right in the middle of Lake Conroe. This is the best family-friendly place to come up, hang out, anchor your boat. A lot of people have these floating swim pads, and really it's a great place to let the kids play. My daughter loves coming out here, playing in the sand. You can go up, hang out on the island. There's even some trees for some shade if you wanna have a picnic. But really, this is right in the middle of the lake. It's accessible from pretty much any point of the lake. And this is really a great place to come and hang out. So I'm really glad that you were with us on this tour today. If you have any questions about Lake Conroe, leave them in the comments below. Not only will we reply to them, we would love to, but if you've got any other questions, you are looking to move here or you're serious about buying here on Lake Conroe so that you can come out and do this every single day, then don't be shy. We've got a survey link in the comments below. Click that, fill it out real quick, and a member of our team will reach out immediately so that we can help you make a smooth move right here to Lake Conroe.